from Song to South Korea. Yes, baby, I'm in South Korea, and it is 2 10 a.m. on Saturday, July 6, 2019, and we're going to talk about Libra. Yes, the cryptocurrency that Facebook announced recently uh, about that they are working with a bunch of other for profit and non profit corporations about. But before we get started, we're going to start off with. Bitcoin. So right now, the current market cap of Bitcoin is two hundred billion dollars, two hundred seventy-six million four hundred eighty-five thousand four hundred and three dollars. The price of one Bitcoin is eleven thousand two hundred fifty-one dollars and fifty cent. If you look up top, the bit the BTC dominance means Bitcoin dominates market. The BTC dominance is sixty-two point five percent of. Pretty much all the cryptocurrencies that coin market cap is tracking and right now coin market cap is tracking 2318 different cryptocurrencies all right so the total market cap for cryptocurrencies right now is 320 billion 654 million 234 thousand nine hundred and twelve dollars and bitcoin takes up 62.5 percent of that market cap all right so that's your little quick G Wiz information about Bitcoin. And also stay tuned towards the end so you can learn how you can get $10. But moving on. So looking at this article from CoinDesk. CoinBet, you know, this guy right here wrote an article about, scroll it up, four U.S. lawmakers join call to freeze Facebook's Libra project. Yes, U.S. lawmakers. So, U.S. lawmakers are formally calling on Facebook to cease all development. And keep in mind, this is an article from July 2nd, 2019, but it still is re relevant because Libra is causing a lot of people heartaches and troubles and keeping them up at night. So, as, let me carry on. So, U.S. lawmakers are formally calling on Facebook to cease all development of its Libra cryptocurrency in a new letter sent to executives at the social media giant. Democrats from the U.S. House of Representatives wrote an open letter to Facebook Tuesday calling on a moratorium to all Libra development while the Financial Services Committee and affiliated subcommittees hold hearings to determine how it would operate and what protections would be implemented to protect user privacy. Representatives Maxine Water, Chairwoman of the House Financial Services Committee, Caroline Melanie, sorry if I pronounced it wrong, Chair of the Investors Protection, Entrepreneurship, and Capital Markets Subcommittee, William Lace Clay, Chairman of the Housing Committee, Development and Insurance Subcommittee, Al Green, Chairman of the Oversight and Investigation Subcommittee, and Stephen F. Lynch, Chairman of the Task Force on Financial Technologies, all signed onto the letter, which was addressed to Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, CEO Shirley Sandberg, and Cal oh, Calibra CEO David Marcus. Waters was reportedly called on Facebook to pause the development of Libra, though this is the first time she has done so as part of a formal letter to, a, to the company. The letter describes concerns with Facebook track record, as well as the potential for Libra to act as a new global currency system. It appears that these products may lend themselves to an entirely new global financial system that is based out of Switzerland and intended to rival U.S. monetary policy and the dollar. And if we have learned from history... <clears throat> we know that you do not play with the U.S. monetary system. No, they don't. You don't. You don't play with it. So just keep that in mind. Just, just hold on to that. <laughs> um, this raises serious privacy, trading, national security, and monetary policy concerns for not only Facebook's over two billion users, but also for investors, consumers, and the broader global economy. The lawmakers wrote, adding. While Facebook has published a white paper on these projects, the scant information provided, the scant, sorry, the scant information provided about the intent, roles, potential use, and security of the Libra and Calibra exposes the massive scale of the risks and the lack of clear regulatory protections. If products and services like these are left improperly regulated and without significant oversight, they could pose systematic risks that endanger U.S. and global financial stability. These vulnerabilities could be exploited and obscured by bad actors as other cryptocurrencies, exchanges, and wallets have been in the past. Now, let's not forget that. Didn't we recently have a financial crisis due to regulated entities called banks? <laughs> because of because where were these people at 
and preventing those banks. But that's a whole other conversation. So the privacy concerns. Uh, and we're going to get to the letter soon. So privacy concerns. The letter references recent privacy issues involving Facebook, including the Cambridge Analytical scandal, where a political consultant firm gained access to the data of more than 50 million Facebook users. Facebook is already expecting to pay a $5 billion fine to the Federal Trade Commission as a result of its involvement with Cambridge Analytics and remains under a consent decree um, for deceiving consumers and, fa and failing to keep consumer data private. My question, what will the Federal Trade Commission do with that $5 billion? Are they gonna divvy up that $5 billion among the 50 million people um, from Facebook, who data got take, who got used? Like I always, always wonder about those fines. How do they use those? Um, anyways, so because Facebook is already in the hands of a uh, hands of a over quarter of the world's population, it is imperative that Facebook and its partners immediately cease implementation implementation plans until regulator, regulators and Congress have an opportunity to examine these issues and take action. The letter said. During the moratorium, we intend to hold public hearings on the risk and benefits of cryptocurrency-based activities and explore legislative solutions. Failure to cease implementation before we can do so risks a new Swiss-based financial system that is too big to fail. Libra was first unveiled in June through the social media giant uh, was rumored to though the social media giant was rumored to have been developing it for months the company lined up 27 launch partners including crypto exchange coinbase and it tends to have at least 100 members of 100 members for the libra association which will act as a cryptocurrency governing council when the token goes live the house financial service committee has already scheduled a hearing to examine Libra on July 17th, a day after the Senate Banking Committee is set to hold its own hearing. Since the project formal announcement, the regulators and government entities worldwide have expressed caution to or alarm, with members of the G7 forming a task force to look into the project and various ministers, ministries calling for Facebook to share more details or other, otherwise cease development. Libra briefing. The letter comes days after Facebook reportedly reportedly brief con congressional aides about the project in a contri contributed piece to Libra political and public policy magazine the American prospect an anonymous House Democrat aide wrote that the legislative aides met with Libra head of policy who outlined different aspects of the project including Facebook aim to have Libra go live by next year and to maintain its value using basket of fiat currencies According to the Prospect article, Facebook representatives kept suggesting that the 2020 launch target was prolonged, meaning conservative through other participations, and the room did not agree with this assessment. Other topics ranged from how Libra would be regulated. Facebook said that they assumed the F FTC, the Federal Trade Commission, or the CFPB, Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, will regulate Libra or to how exactly the stable coins peg would operate. Indeed, the staff wrote. They kept selling Libra as a means they kept selling Libra as a means of providing banking services to 1.7 billion unbanked people around the world. When challenged on how they were going to do that and asked directly whether they figure out how exactly a digital currency would be an answer for people who can't access credit currently, they said the short answer is no. The phrase the miracle of blockchain was used at one point. Sensitive data. The congressional staffers present at the briefing, also apparently asked what information Facebook would have if users transfer Libra using WhatsApp or Messenger, two of the instant mess messaging apps Facebook owns and operates. We were assured that Facebook would not access specific information about transactions. Beyond that, they were interested in our using Libra, the author wrote. That would, of course, be enough information to know a lot more about the users. Staffers were also concerned with how Facebook could prevent its governing council partners from colluding with each other, though the response appeared to be that the partners were well aware of the re repetitionary risks they might incur should they violate privacy laws, etc. It is also it was also pointed out that some of the partners are direct competitors as if they were ever prevented from prevented them from colluding in the past, the aide wrote. So that's the 
piece from Coinbase, and I'll have the link to this blog post in the description of this video. Now, let's look at the open letter from the U.S. politicians. All right, right here, and I will. I think the link is. I'll include a link to this too. So nice, pretty letter here, right? United States House of Representatives Committee on Financial Services. All right. So this letter, like it's, like I said in the post, was addressed it to Mark Zuckerberg, this, um, who is the CEO of Facebook, founder and CEO of Facebook, um, Shirley Sandberg, the chief exec, chief operating officer, of Facebook, and David Marcus, the CEO of Calibra. And those of you who know, Calibra is the is the wallet that will be used in um, that will be integrated into this whole system. So, dear Mark Zuckerberg, Miss Sandberg, and Mr. Marcus. We write to request that Facebook and its partners immediately agree to a moratorium, moratorium, or in mo or any movement forward on Libra. It's proposed cryptocurrencies and Calibra. It is proposed. It's proposed digital wallet. It appears that these products may lend themselves to an entirely new global financial system that is based out of Switzerland and intend to rival U.S. monetary policy and the dollar. This raises serious privacy, trading, national security, and monetary policy concerns for not only Facebook's over 2 billion users, but also for investors, consumers, and the broader global economy. On June 18, 2019, Facebook announced its plans to develop a new cryptocurrency called Libra and a digital wallet to store this cryptocurrency known as Calibra. To assist in this, to assist in this venture, Facebook enlisted 27 other companies and organizations to form the Libra Association, which is based out of Switzerland. These companies span the financial services and retail industry and include payment systems like MasterCard, PayPal, and Visa, and technology giants like Uber, Lyft, and Shopify. But by the target launch date of early 2020, Facebook hopes to have recruited over 100 firms into the Libra Association. While Facebook has published a white paper on these projects, the scant information provided about the intent, roles, potential use, and security of the Libra and Calibra exposes the massive scale of risk and the lack of clear regulatory protections. If products and services like these are left improperly regulated and without sufficient oversight, they could pose systematic risks that endanger U.S. and global financial stability. These vulnerabilities could be exploited and obs obscured by bad actors, as other cryptocurrencies exchanges and wallets have been in the past. Indeed, regulators around the globe have already expressed similar concerns illustrating the need for robust oversight. Investors and consumers transacting in Libra may be exposed to serious privacy and national security concerns, cybersecurity risks, and trading risk. Those using Facebook digital wallets storing potential trillions of dollars without depository insurance also may become unique targets for hackers. For example, during the first three quarters of 2018, hackers stole nearly $1 billion from cryptocurrency exchanges. This system could also provide an under-regulated platform for illicit activity and money laundering. These risks are even more glaring in the light of Facebook's troubled past, where it did not always keep its users keep its users' information safe. For example, Cambridge Analytical, a political consultant firm hired by the 2016 Trump campaign, had access to more than 50 million Facebook users' private data, which it used to inf influence voting behavior. As a result, Facebook ex experts. As a result, Facebook expects to pay fines up to five billion to the Federal Trade Commission and remains under consent order from FTC for deceiving consumers and failing to keep consumer data private. In the first quarter of 2019 alone, Facebook has also removed more than 2.2 billion fake accounts. Wow, including those displaying terrorist propaganda and hate speech. It also it has also recently been sued by both civil rights groups as well as U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development for violating fair housing laws on its advertising platform and through its ad delivery algorithms. Because Facebook is already in the hands of over a quarter of the world's population, it is imperative that Facebook and its partners immediately cease implementation plans until regulators in Congress have an opportunity to examine these issues and take action. During this moratorium, we intend to hold public hearings on the risks and benefits of crypto 
cryptocurrency based activities and explore legislative solutions. Failure to cease information before we can do so risks a new Swiss based financial system that is too big to fail. Sincerely, Representative Maxine Waters, Chairwoman, and all these other politicians. So that's their letter to Facebook. Now, now, now look, the thing is interesting. Look how it ends. <laughs> Failure to cease information before we can do so risk a new Swiss based financial system that is too big to fail. Now, keep in mind, they didn't say failure to cease means that we're going to shut you down because, for one, Libra Association is not a U.S. entity. It's based out of Switzerland. So, essentially, the U.S. government doesn't really have the power to stop Libra because it's not on U.S. soil. You're tracking? So, Facebook can be like, all right, we will, we'll, we'll, We'll pause. We'll do a little, do a little motor roll. You know, we'll, 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 we'll put this on pause publicly. But in the background, we're still working. But we you know we'll keep things quiet in the public. They can do that, or they can say, "Hey, bye," because the Swiss, the, the association is U.S. is not U.S. based. It's, it's based out of um, Switzerland. So now let's actually look at Libra. I know um, real quick. It's just it's gonna be a quick glance. So this is the website. Welcome to Libra. All right. A simple global currency and financial infrastructure that empowers billions of people. Reinvent money, transform the, transform the global economy so people everywhere can live better lives. That's how they're pitching it. That's their mission. That's the Libra's mission, right? Um, and I'm just going to go real quick over their vision. Like, and I want, I'm not going to give too much. I want you guys to research this, right? I know there's a lot of people out there in the community who saying, oh, this is evil, this and that. Honestly, I really do think... There's a solution for everybody. Not everyone care. Not everyone like, for example, a lot of people will love the fact, like with Bitcoin, that you control it. You you can easily do you you are in control. You have freedom to move this and that. People like that. Other people don't care for that. Other people just care for having a means to store their their own stores of value or a means to pay for things. So, in the cryptocurrency space, I feel like there's enough room. And future room for different type of blockchain cryptocurrency solutions for different type of groups of people. So we really need to get away from this extremist type of mindset that if it's not this way, then you go go the highway. And we need to get away from that, you know, because that's that's the wrong thinking to have. The space is big enough. The space is not even done growing. So the space is big enough for so many different projects. But I digress. So Libra is for the world. You know, it's a stable global cryptocurrency built on a secure network. You know, simple, inclusive, global. Yes, they're using blockchain technology to build Libra you know, on a secure, scalable, and reliable blockchain. That's the technology using stable value. Libra is backed by a reserve of assets that help keep its value stable. So now let me talk about that. Libra is a stable coin. It is not like like Bitcoin, where it's always fluctuating because it's not really backed by nothing. Libra is going to be backed by an asset of basses, cryptocurrency, uh, like fiats, other type of things that keep the price stable. Also, keep in mind, your current fiat isn't backed by nothing either. So, at least with this one, they're trying to back it by something because they want it to be stable. They Because they don't really, they want people to have a way to transact with a form of currency without worrying about all the crazy price fluctuations. So it's, it's essentially it's a stable coin. Independent governance. Libra is governed by the Independent Libra Association tasked with evolving the ecosystem. So this is how it works in the division. Libra is a global digital native reserve backed cryptocurrency built on the foundation of blockchain technology. People will be able to send, receive, spend, and secure their money enabling a more exclusive global financial system. The currency, the unit of, of the unit of currency is called Libra. The aim is to make Libra as widely accepted and as easy to use as possible to create a currency that people can use with confidence and convenience in their everyday lives. The reserve, unlike a majority of the cryptocurrencies, Libra is fully backed by a reserve of real assets, a basket of currencies and assets that will be held in the Libra Reserve for every Libra that is created, building trust in its intrinsic value. The blockchain. The Libra blockchain is operated by a network of validated validator nodes. The evolution of the of the blockchain will be 
overseen by the founding members of Libra Association, and each member will be responsible for running a validator node. As the network grows and becomes a more self-sustaining, the becomes more self-sustaining, the Libra Association will work to gradually transition to a permission permissionless mode of operations. Operation. Sorry for that. I didn't mean the S on there. And if you want to read the white paper, you can read it here. Um, probably in another video, I will do a white paper read, but not in this one. And so just like a little closer look, you can check it out. And once again, I'll put the link to their website on in the description <laughs> of this video. Got it? All right. So um, tell me what you think. What do you think about the po U.S. politicians writing that long that not long writing that letter to Facebook and Facebook partners and asking them to chill out on his liver real quick. You know what I'm saying? So tell me what you think. What you comment below? Tell me. Tell me if you say Jason, this dot direct know this thing sucks. Cool. That's your opinion. That means it's fact. It's his opinion, and we are old enough and mature enough to respect each other's opinions and be intelligent enough to listen to those different opinions, right? So we can have a dialogue and, and talk about it. So please share, share with me what you think. Now, like I told you in the beginning, here's how you can make, how you can get $10, all right? So I'm gonna put the link, my link in here on Coinbase. So I'm gonna invite you. So when you sign up for your Coinbase account, you get $10 and yes, I get $10 as well. But you got to buy or sell $100 or more on Coinbase to get your $10. And then I don't get my $10 if you don't get your $10, so don't worry. So I will put the link to that in the description of this video. And let's see what the price of Bitcoin is after doing all that reading. Let's see if it went up, down, sideways, whatever. Uh, it looks about the same. But so thank you for watching. Uh, appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel or my IGTV, depending on what I, I put this video at. Also, make sure you comment. Show, tell me your two cents. Tell me what you think. I like to, I like to hear um, hit the like button and share this with your mom and them. Direct Nola, 